Well, hey guys, you know when you see me, I'm usually either always on a tractor, working outside, landscaping, working on a farm, whatever. Today, something totally different, and it has to do with trying to fix something on my car. Guys, wanna check it out? It's totally different. Come see what I got going on. So guys, I am not sure about other car models, but on Ford Explorers, and I love my car. This thing has been fantastic. It's got over 400,000 miles on it and it's still going, knock on wood. Uh, but anyhow, one of the problems that is very common with this car is the door panels and how the uh, seams split open. This is just uh, put together, This is a vi it's just vinyl. Uh, this is not even real stitching it just looks like stitching and this is very common anyway to replace this is over eight hundred dollars and you might could find some for around seven but it's up there uh, there is a way to stitch this and try and fix this yourself and i go for 20 or 30 dollars in materials what have i got to lose i can't make it much worse than this so i'm gonna see if i can get this repaired come on guys check it out with me let's do it together <clears throat> so guys i saw this and i said i wanted to give this a try so one of the first things you've got to do is you got to get a needle kit that has this type of needle in it curved curve needle and so you can go on amazon uh, these are very, very inexpensive to get the whole kit. It's got all kinds of different needles, uh, big curves, straight. It's just a whole little kit they sell you. And I'm going to try using the smallest one first just to see how I make out, which is this one here. And the other thing that I had to do is I went to Hobby Lobby and uh, just there, it's like 50 cents for a thing of string. And I, I got three or four different ones in the different tan browns and i've got one that's really close i couldn't find an exact but it's really really close so we'll see how we make out so one thing i noticed right off the bat as i'm doing this small section is it's a learning curve and i definitely got better and better with this as i work through the process okay guys so this is an area that hasn't been repaired yet this is one that i just finished um i got the twine as close to the color as I could get. I'm hoping as that gets a little dirt and wear on it, it'll blend in even more. And I learned as I was going, uh, I let my needle get some of the foam in between it. And that's why it didn't pull up quite as tight. I think on this round, I will do a much better job. Went through a, a big learning curve here. But anyway, I mean, compared for a $20 fix versus an $800 fix, I think I can live with that. And I think I'll be able to do a much better job on this one. So uh, let's continue on. So the secret to this process is all your string that you're pulling up with is done on the back side. So the first thing you want to do is you want to run your string over top of the simulated stitching so it'll blend in. And you can see here with my needle, I'm going across and I'm pulling it out right where the simulated stitch is. And as you watch, if you look at that top line, see how it looks just almost exactly like the other stitch. And then you go, when you go to the bottom, when you're actually going back one, so you can see how I, I pulled it through. Now I'm moving forward and I went straight across. Now I'm gonna pull that up tight and then I'm gonna go uh, over to the left, one stitch width. You can see the stitch, see how I'm gonna push the hole down through and then I will pull down through that and then I'll go back one on the bottom side. And so it, it's hard to see, but you're almost making a Z pattern. But anyway, you just slowly work your way across and uh, just keep pulling it up tight as you go. And again, the more I did it, the better I got with it. And I, I, I got my stitches pretty straight. Uh, I, there's one that's a little bit crooked, um, it, but it's, not, it's on the bottom side and I don't think you'll really notice it. And I think as it gets dirt on it uh, and wears in, it'll be noticeable even less. So again, I'm very happy with the way all this turned out. Well, okay guys, there you have it. It is not perfect, but wow, what a difference. It's all pulled back together. Um, as I did it more, I kind of got in a routine and was able to get my stitching a little bit straighter. I got that one really nice. And uh, it uh, once you pull it all in, it just kind of disappears. So even though my thread is just a little bit different shade, 
uh, once it all gets pulled in tight, it really blends well. And unless you told somebody, I don't really know they'd notice. So let me ask you guys, this is less than $30 versus replacing the whole panel is $800. What do you guys think? Love to hear it in the comments. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.